What's up everybody? I forgot to do a quick update since I've got the bottom shelf has complete scenery or backdrop really and I'd figure what we'll do is just put trees top of the ridge line and one thing we thought about, I had this extra piece left over from the bottom of here, and I just stuck it right there for right now for time being just for kicks. But I'm gonna get, I'll have an extra piece left over off of this roll, and I'll take the top half and put it here. And that one's not as bad, but. I might cut a new one just for the gap because I'll have that same transition right there. But this piece will finish off right here. And then I'm going to get a, I think a four foot transition to go from the flat scene to the mountains. And use the rest of that from there do the transition to mountains and that'll finish that up but i really really do like this this is trackside sceneries background this top half i did here was the uh, standard paper and you had to use some kind of adhesive for the backing to apply on and it was it was okay i did the same thing on both sides i put a piece of 030 styrene sheet behind it and then applied it this side in the bottom was complete with adhesive backing it was so much easier to apply so much better quicker it was i mean it was awesome and for me, it was like less chance of getting bubbles and wrinkles and stuff. But I mean, that's that's my fault right there. But I really do like this background. It looks really good. And he'll also do whatever you want to do. If you want a road put in somewhere, or if you want a creek put in. But, uh, Anything custom, he'll do it. I'm really... I did have to tear down Saluda. But... When I figured I was going to do... Have the bridge come across and the road go to the right. And instead of... I'll still have a tunnel through here. But the road will go on top of the tunnel. And just disappear behind a bunch of trees. Um, and yes, I had to cut this just for the bay and we'll fix that in the meantime soon. Other stuff I've been working on. I went to an old friend's house and he helped me get this get up and this is an actual antenna tuned for the railroad he put it in the lathes and um milled everything out tapped it put the fittings on it and hooked it up to his radio his actual tuner and tuned the antenna we had to adjust it raise it up a little bit and whatnot and it looks wonderful other than that, I don't have much else going on. Just tinkering, playing with stuff. Just a little quick update. We'll see y'all.